we have 300 divided by 100. A trick when dividing with zeros, and this is something you should put in your bag of tricks, is you cancel the zeros, the equal amount of zeros on both sides. So we have two zeros on one side and two zeros on the other side. And that leaves us with 3 divided by 1, and the answer is 3. Let's make it a bit more difficult, and we got 5,000 divided by 50. Once again, we, uh, we will cancel the zeros, the exact amounts on both sides, since there's only one zero, and we're going to subtract one zero from the 5,000, and now we got... 5 divided by 5 will equal 1, and since there's two zeros remaining, we just add the two zeros. The answer is 100. Here we have 3,456. We'll divide it by 10, divide it by 100, and divide it by 1,000. So let's divide it by 10. Since we have one zero, we will move the decimal over once. Since there is no decimal, we assume there's a decimal at the end. Let's bring it over once, and the answer is 345.6, or 345.6 tenths. Let's divide it by 100. Since we have two zeros, we're going to move the decimal over twice. So one, two. And now we got 34.56. And when we are dividing by 1,000, we got three zeros. Let's move the decimal over three times. So one, two, three. And now the answer is three. 0.456 or the correct way to say it three and four hundred and fifty six thousandths here we have 781 and one tenths or 0.1 let's divide it by 10 since there is one zero we move the decimal once and we get 78.11 if we divide that number by a hundred there's two zeros, that means we move the decimal twice. Now we got 7.811 or 7 and 811 thousandths. And when we divide the same number by 1,000, since there are three zeros, we move the decimal over three times. One, two, three, and the answer is 0.7811.